Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. I'm going to crack open the Beckman meter just to see what it looks like. Pretty sure there's not a battery in it. This is the Beckman HD100. It's fairly old. Uh, read operating instructions before use. I don't have the operating instructions. I'd love to find a uh, owner's manual on it, but the HD100 is, is kind of outdated. And all of the manuals that I'm finding are for the 1100, which people tell me is very similar. But the 1100 has an extra uh, socket on the front, and it also has a thermocouple socket on the top. So it is slightly different. It says, to avoid electrical shock, disconnect test leads before removing cover. Okay, we're all good. Do not operate with cover removed. To prevent fire, use 2 amp 600 volt fuse. If any other fuse is used, amp input voltage rating is limited to voltage rating of fuse used. It says low battery, flashing decimal point, battery replacement. Turn meter off, remove cover, use type NEDA1604 standard 9 volt battery. Yep, Rayovac it says it lasts as long as an energizer. So I'm going to remove the four screws. And separate the case. Just as I suspected, no battery. That's good. The guy who leaves a battery in a meter and just stuffs it back in the bag and forgets it doesn't have any meter at all when he comes back to use it. Because this battery will get old and explode, well actually just start leaking and fill the whole case with battery acid and screw it up permanently. Just a simple 9 volt battery. Click the lead on, tuck that down into the spot where it goes, and put the cover back on because remember the directions it says do not operate with cover removed. It only has 9 volt potential but there's capacitors in there so you probably could get a poke. I get it all assembled correctly. Now, the moment of truth is coming. <clears throat> Did I buy an expensive yellow? Here's one screw down. You never want to tighten them up until you have all of them started. snug. Not worried about over torquing the screws with this little bitty screwdriver, but it's easy enough to strip out a plastic housing and totally mess the whole thing up. Drum roll. Hey, we have digits. That means that things are functioning. Goes off again, we're all good. Let's give it a test. AC voltage. Always want to go to the high end of the range when you're checking. Especially on an unknown voltage because you don't know what the heck 
the thing is. Now this test probe is a little corroded. You can see that the end is kind of turning green. Might have to replace these with something in a little better condition. The other problem with this, these probes go in there, but they're a little short. They're supposed to actually go down inside that socket and stay. But look, but like I said in the first video, this is a set of replacement leads, not the originals. I bet I could just shave off a little bit of that plastic and make it so it went down into that socket a little better, but we'll see how it works. Okay, we're ready for the earth-shattering kaboom. No kaboom. 121 volts. Evidently, we have the polarity right on that outlet. But the ground is not a very good ground. I'm going to have to check out this circuit because it's showing 74 volts to ground. And I should have 121, just like hooking onto the neutral. But we now have an understanding of what we've got. Cool. I need to find an instruction manual for this so that I can go through and actually check and make sure it's right. Having the directions on the back is, is good, but it's not enough. can do a simple test for continuity. Well, our probes are working, and they are a little corroded, because I'm getting a resistance reading with it set at 200, I'm getting 0.2. Tips of the probes were kind of corroded. But we now have a working digital multimeter in very good condition. I'm impressed. I'm going to clean up the pouch and the case a little bit because 
I don't want to have Brian's name on there. If I ever do take it out on the job, I want to be able to say, no, this is mine. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know, I read them all. Thanks for watching.